If you want to be able to divide these two polynomials using long division, then this video is going to be for you. What I'm gonna do is just kind of work through this slowly and step by step, because sometimes when we are learning long division or we are just reviewing the process, we just want something slow and calming. And I'm hoping this video can be helpful um, for those of you that are looking for that. When doing long division, there's one thing that I want you to understand, and that is going to be the rules of exponents. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work through long division step by step, nice and slow and calming, so therefore you can understand the process. And you can see we're dividing this x plus four into this long polynomial. So there's gonna be multiple times that I'm just going to say the same thing over and over because I want things to sink in. So when we are doing long division, a couple things we need to understand here. The first thing is we want to make sure we have everything in descending order, right? Three, four, three, two, one. And this could be technically an x to the zero. And this is going to be x to the first. So always have things in descending order. Then what we're simply going to do is just ask ourselves a couple of questions. We're always going to start with the leading term of our divisor. And what we're going to say is say, how many times does x divide into 3x to the fourth? That is why I wrote this over here, right? So a lot of times we do this in our head and or your teacher will do it in your head and they'll do it till fast and you're not following. And so that's what I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this nice and slow, work through this whole problem for you. So in this case, all we're saying is how many times does x to the first divide into 3x to the fourth? Well, hopefully you remember your rules of exponents, and this is going to equal a 3x cubed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this value and we're going to place it right up here. All right, that is going to be our first value of our quotient, the answer. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 3x cubed times our whole divisor. So 3x cubed times an x is gonna be back into a 3x to the fourth. Here's a little key. Whenever you multiply back, right, you better get the exact same expression because our goal with long division is to subtract that term out. Then I'm gonna multiply the 3x cubed times the four and that's gonna give me a positive 12x cubed. All right, so here comes a big thing that you wanna make sure you do. When you are now subtracting the rows, what I always like to do is use parentheses and the subtraction. And the reason why the parentheses is so important in this case is because what we want to do is I want to kind of say this out loud. 3x to the fourth minus a 3x to the fourth, well, it's just going to be a 0x to the fourth, which is just a 0. Sometimes we can write the 0. A lot of times we just leave it blank. But those are going to subtract each other out. This is where students will make their mistakes. Because remember, this is a 10x cubed minus a 12x cubed, which is now going to give us a 2x cubed. That is going to be our next term in our row. Now, what we can do for the rest of these is just bring them down. You can technically say, like, there's a 0x squared, a 0x, um, and a 0 here. But a lot of times, we just kind of say, bring these down to the next row. So therefore, I have a. OK, so now we're going to do the exact same process again. We're going to say, how many times does x squared divide into a negative 2x cubed? And again, you don't have to like do all this on your head. Like, write it over here. Right? Again, you're just following these rules of exponents here. So now that's going to be my next term in my quotient. And again, now we're going to follow the exact same process. We're going to take the negative 2x squared. We're going to multiply by an x. And remember, we have to get the exact same, right? Negative 2x times an x is going to be a negative x cubed. Negative 2x times a 4 is going to be a negative 8x squared. All right. Now, again, we need to go ahead and subtract our rows. And again, be very careful with these negatives. I'm telling you, this is where mistakes are going to happen. So now we're going to subtract our two rows here. We have these two rows we're going to subtract. We don't need to worry about these, right? We can just bring these down. So negative 2x cubed minus a negative 2x cubed. Again, we know they're going to zero out. Minus a negative, it's going to be a positive, right? So again, that goes to zero. We can write the zero in there or just leave it blank. But now again, here, a lot of students will say, oh, this is a negative, a negative 3x squared. No, it's not. 5x squared minus a negative 8 squared. Now again, sometimes you might be like, ah, I don't know. So again, like, write it over here, guys. If you start doing the, like, the math and it's not making sense, just use a scratch piece of paper or do it on the side. So it's a 5x squared minus a negative 8x squared. So that's a double negative positive. So it's like adding these together. So that is now going to give me a positive 13x squared. And then the rest of these we can just bring down. All right, and guess what? Now we're gonna do the exact same process again. How many times does x divide into a 13x squared? So we have a 13x, x divides into 13x, that is going to be a positive 13x. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same process again. 13x times x is going to be a 13x squared. 
13x times 4, well, 13 times 2 is going to be a 26, right? 26 times 2 is going to be a 52. So 13 times 4 is going to be a positive 52. And then now, again, we can subtract our rows. Subtracting these, I'm going to get a 13x squared minus a 13x squared, which is just going to be a 0x squared. Again, we can leave that. A negative 10x minus a negative 52. Again, you can subtract the, the coefficients. So you owe me $10. You borrow 52 more dollars. You now owe me $62. And then we can bring down this negative 9. Um, and that's an x. Don't forget that. <laughs> don't make that mistake. So we have x. How many times does x divide into a negative 62x? Well, I don't think I need to do that over here, right? Hopefully you guys recognize that's going to be a negative 62. Now what we need to do is multiply the negative 62 times these numbers. So negative 62 times x, we know that has to be a negative 62x. And then we have a negative 62 times a 4. Well, it's, again, just double it. 62 times 2 is going to be um, 124. If you double that again, 124, that's going to be a 248. And that's a negative 248. Now again, we're going to subtract the rows. Now again, here we have this double negative, so we're going to be adding that on there. So therefore, that's going to be a 239. So now we just need to do long division one more time. But guess what? We're good here, because x does not divide into 239. The only reason why we could take the x and divide it into this term, this term, this term, and that term is because they had a coefficient. They had an x with them, right? So since this doesn't have an x, this is going to be what we call our remainder. So we want to write our quotient, which is right up here, which is the answer, with the remainder, all we're simply going to do is take our remainder and put it over our divisor. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have now applied long division slowly, methodically, and calmly. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, then I know you're going to love the next video I have for you here. Cheers.